Hi guys, you are welcome back to Adobe Global Solution. Um, what I will be teaching you today is ICT theory and that's uh, chapter 2 of your curriculum, Input and Output Devices. Um, this chapter is one of the hottest uh, chapter in your curriculum and there used to be a lot of questions in your exam. Now let's get started. It's going to be very short and I've already made an interactive content for you which make, which we uh, make everything easier for you to understand. And of course, as you can see from here, which of the following do you think is an input device? So only keyboard, any other thing here are output devices. When we say input device, so these are the devices we use to key in our data into a computer and we do have a lot of them mouse keyboard scanner microphone and lots more now let's start with keyboard keyboard the most common input device so that we use to input text number and instruction into the computer so this is called keyboard and the most famous keyboard is qwerty keyboard all right, so we, we call it a standard keyboard. Then we do have another type of keyboard, so which is um, RSI key, uh, sorry, uh, which is uh, ergonomic keyboard. And what is it? It's a kind of keyboard which is designed to reduce the health related problems. So associated with the usage of keyboard. And what are the health related issues? Capatonic syndrome as well as RSI, repetitive strain injury. Then we do have another type of keyboard which we call concept keyboard, and this one it uses icons or phrases instead of standard letter. And the last one is what we call keypad. We call it keypad, and what it does it it is used to enter numbers only. It is used in ATM, mobile phones, and the likes. Now, if you understand this, let's talk about another types of um, input devices. This one is used to move or position a cursor on a, on a screen. Of course, this one is a mouse. And this one is used to, is a pointing device found in a laptop. This one is a touchpad. And this is a touchpad, right? This one is a mouse. And the last one is a trackable. All right. Then another one is driving wheel, as you can see from here. So driving wheel, that should be this one. It's, um, it has a very similar function with joystick. It's mostly used in gaming. Then we have another one, which is joystick. This one is joystick. And finally, we have a remote control. All these are also input devices. Then another input device we have, which is a new technology, so in which a user can choose an option by touching an icon on the screen. That one is touch screen. Then this one is used to convert hard copy material uh, into soft copy. This should be scanner. The images are stored in the memory card and can be transferred into a computer. This is GT, uh, digital camera. And finally, this one is used to take still image. And this is video camera. All these are input devices. Then another type of input device we have is, uh, is used to input sound into a computer. Of course, this is microphone. This is one of the most famous questions in Cambridge, by the way. Pay attention to that. Then it's used with stylus to produce free hand drawing. This one is light pen. And this one is a camera which connects to a computer directly and has no memory. This is webcam. And finally, this one is used with computer as an input device and uses laser technology. Oh, sorry, this should be laser technology. When you see laser, it means light, right? This would be light pen. And of course, this one is a um, is graphical tablet then another one um, another input device you need to know according to your curriculum is sensor 
when we say sensor it's actually converts a real world property into data that a computer can process then a sensor is a device which senses data and input it into a computer so what are the data it can sense what temperature light moisture pressure and some other data it can collect the data and computer only understand digital data which is one and zero why sensor understand analog data now choose three correct information about sensor from the following sensors are used in both monitoring and measuring application this is a past year question yes so DAC which is digital analog converter means digital to analog converter this is correct then analog data is 0 and 1 no digital data means 0 and 1 and finally sensor understand only analog data therefore ADC is needed to convert sensors data into digital yes sensor understand only analog data so what is analog data analog data are the real data just like the way I'm talking so this is analog data so computer didn't understand my voice so my voice needs to be converted into digital into zero and one then computer can process it all right but sensor understand analog computer understand digital now another thing you need to know here choose three sensors which are present in automatic washing machine yeah temperature sensor are always there water level sensor are always there then pressure sensor are always there too then another thing here this one is a past year question too that's a uh, dash is used in green hours to measure temperature what is that temperature sensor this one umpires check light conditions in cricket match this one should be light sensor then this one is used to check moisture and this is the moisture sensor then the uh, water uh, a washing machine to measure water level sensor this will be water level and use when parking cars to judge distance this should to judge to for distance this should be a proximity sensor detect movement this should be a movement sensor and this one is burglar alarm sensor let's see if everything is correct yeah now let's talk about let's quickly talk about types of sensor application we have temperature sensor yeah this type of sensor is being used in different application in ovens automatic washing machine and lots more pressure sensor is being used in a lot of applications as well all right then uh, we do have light sensor which is being used in greenhouse uh, application is also used in automatic street lights then we have sound sensor which is used in monitoring liquid then we have humidity sensor which is used in environmental monitoring and pH sensor used in chemical processing we do have other types of sensor too now this is another past year question choose four advantages of this one says choose four advantages of sensor it needs salary monthly no it doesn't the more accurate reading you need to put more yeah this is correct more accurate reading then reading is continuous in sensor yes then it does it doesn't go on strike yes it is not useful in dangerous it is useful in dangerous condition then it doesn't have feelings or get tired yes these are four advantages of sensor all right if you see that one in your exam then that's what you write now choose another disadvantages of using sensor well it is not expensive it is not expensive we say that 40 sensor might give fake results yes this is very correct it is not easy to set up then it requires technical know-how this is correct now what do you think of these two it is not expensive and it's not easy to set up yes this one so it's not easy to set up of course so sensors are not that expensive just only few dollars you can buy them all right then um, 
uh, this lesson is finished and I have some couple of past year questions for you here this is activity 2.1.1 let me open this this is a past year question it says many homes in cold climate areas use microprocessor control central heating system name two input devices used in such in such a system input devices the question says input devices definitely that should be a humidity sensor and temperature sensor all right the next question a video conference is being set up complete each sentence below using the most appropriate device moving images are uh, used using R uh, moving images uh, that should be web camera right? moving images that should be webcam then sound is input using microphone sound is output using a speaker then connection to the internet is made using a router then next question the puppies want to record themselves speaking their voice will be added to this presentation they will need to listen to their voices to make sure the presentation is of good quality now name two devices which they will need to do this well if you look at the question we see the students here want to record themselves speaking their voice if they want to record themselves speaking definitely they will need something microphone then um, secondly they will need to listen if they need to listen then they will need something like a speaker what if a headphone you can write headphone also so then if you check yeah that's correct then look at this question the image a the first image you are having two different four different images here all right the first image is um, speaker then the second image image b that should be webcam then image c that should be joystick and finally the last one is memory stick then the last question this one says select three physical variables measured by sensors pressure temperature light all right so this one is finished and let me look for another activity for you these are past year questions okay this question says explain why the computer is used uh, is unable to read the data directly from the sensor um, because sensors are analog device and computers are digital device okay let me check yeah that's correct then next ADC stand for analog digital uh, converter is that correct okay the next question select through two input devices which are used in mobile phones when making a phone call uh, we use pin pad and we use microphone in mobile phone another question select three differences between analog data and digital data three differences between analog data and digital data digital data is the same as analog data no so definitely analog data is variable or continuous the analog data cannot be understood by a computer then digital data uses one and zero these are the three answers and the last question touch screen is used as both input and output devices that's true all right so this is chapter 1.1 i'm going to stop here then i will continue making more video for you so try to join me in the next video and that will be on 
direct data entry and associated devices i have activities for you as well then i have a lot of uh, questions here on topical uh on topic basis so just come to my website ictmedizzy.com this is my website so you can get some question here you see a lot of downloads here from students and you can come to my main website edubi.com i have some a lot of courses for you some of them are free why some of them you need to subscribe okay thank you dear students see you in next video bye